It's great to get outside and explore in the winter time, but it's important to play it safe. And that's why we're thrilled to have Dr. Dunenberg with us from Helen DeVos Children's Hospital. What are some of your favorite tips to share with West Michigan families when it comes to winter safety? I think the first thing is, and I say it over and over again, is you gotta make sure your kids are dressed warm enough. You gotta be prepared for the elements, make sure you're warm, had enough to eat and drink before you go out, and that's before you even get outside. You know, a lot of kids, they'll get outside and they're hot, and so they're taking their hats and mittens off and sometimes coats off and running around. I think if you dress them in layers, it's okay to take some stuff off. As long as you're keeping warm, you want to avoid, you know, especially when the wind chills are down like they have been this last couple of days, you want to make sure you're keeping the skin protected and make sure you're not exposing yourself to frostbite or the, the elements. How do you know if your kid has frostbite? I think they at first it'll start to hurt, and then they'll start to get numb, and then you really don't know until it's too late. So you just you have to be aware of it as, as you're going. So prevent it. Prevent it, exactly. Exactly. And let's talk about hydrating because that's one of those things we all talk about, but we rarely do it. I think, uh, especially the kids that are skiing and snowboarding, and, and it's getting more and more athletic. Is I think you got to make sure you're drinking plenty of water and plenty of fluids, stay hydrated, and like any other sport, I mean, you're out active and having fun. So. Even though you might not feel like totally thirsty, like okay. you would if you were running a marathon. Especially in the cold. Especially mm -hmm. in the cold. All right, let's talk a little bit about some individual activities. Sledding. You know, I think that sledding is one of those sports that we all grew up doing and, and uh, we've seen a lot of injuries this year and I don't know whether it's more injuries than usual or whether they're more severe than usual, but I think that you have to use some common sense and you have to have some adult supervision and, and it's almost, uh, it's become a helmeted sport. I think if you're going to be sledding down those big hills, you need to start thinking about having your kids wear a helmet. You know, would you recommend that for snowboarding as well? Absolutely. I mean, I think all snowboarding should be helmeted. Okay. So don't be afraid to say put that helmet on. Can we use a bike helmet? No. You have to have a, a helmet designed for skiing and snowboarding. A bike helmet's not the right kind of helmet. And okay. it's not warm enough. I mean. What about for sledding? Sledding, I think you would use a skiing or, or a snowboarding helmet. Same kind of thing. Okay. Any other tips that families need to keep in mind when we send the kids outside to play or when we all go out together to play? I, I still think adult supervision. I think making sure you're doing it safely. With the sledding and skiing, make sure you're skiing somewhere where the trails are groomed or where there's no trees in the way or no fences in the way. And, and I think just use common sense and have a good time. Excellent. Thank you so much. My pleasure. We'll be back with more fun from Cannonsburg, where you live.